Hey guys, Robert Kennedy the third here, RK3, just putting together or continuing with the training for the Purpose Power Profit Club 3PC here. And what we want to do today is help you put together or create a mailing list and simple landing page using MailChimp and Weebly. So I'm not going to go through the sign up process for everything, but I'll go through some of it with you. We want to start with creating the mailing list. So if you've not done it yet, go to MailChimp.com. That's M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com. And we want to sign up for an account there. So I'm going to sign up here and I'm going to put my email address. Okay, I'm going to put that. I'm going to choose a username. And then I'm going to create a password. It says one lowercase, one uppercase. Uh, okay. Okay, then I'm going to create my account. Okay, then it asks me to activate my account. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do once you've activated and logged in, you want to create a list. And so I'm just going to click on the dashboard here, create a list. I can go to the side here, list, but I'm just going to, and I can also go up here. Actually, no, that's just the campaign. Duh. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to click create a list. And I don't have a list, so what I want to do is... Click create a list at the top and I'm going to come to the list and I'm just going to call this the main 3P list and I'm going to put a default from email, default from name. Okay, and I'll just Okay. All right. Do I want to get notified when somebody joins my list daily, one by one, etc.? I'm going to choose a daily summary. Then I'm going to click save here. Okay. Once my list has been created, I want to add a sign up form. So I'm going to click sign up form here. And what I want to do is I want to have an embedded form. I'm going to embed this into a page, into a site. So I'm going to click on Embedded Forms. And I want to, I'm going to uncheck the title here. And I see that in this form here, or the preview version of it, I've got email address, first name, last name. Um, and I see that there's a star here, an asterisk. So I want more than the email address to be required. I want the first name to be required. So I'm going to need to go to the form Builder here, so I'm going to click on the form builder link, and when I go here, a, a pretty rudimentary form comes up, and so I'm going to click on that, and then I will click required field. Let me double check, okay, and then I'm going to click save field, and then I'm going to double check the email address field that's already checked as required. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go back to the sign up forms area, go back to embedded forms, and I see that I've got my star in the first name area there. And that's pretty important. Uh, a little bit later on, you will want to call your subscribers by name. So you want to make sure that they put their first name in. Now, here is what I want. Down at the bottom here, there is this form code. And that is what I want to get. So I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm going to copy it. If you're on a Mac, Command-C. If you're on a, a Windows computer, Control-C. Or you can right-click and choose Copy. All right? Let's go over to Weebly.com. Wh what I'm going to do, Weebly.com is a place where you can make free websites if you want. And what I all I want to do is create a landing page. I want to create a squeeze page, a page where I can have people sign up. And the idea here is, well, the reason I'm using this is because I want to do all of this for free. I don't want to have to pay anything yet. I'm just getting started, and I just want to do this for free. So 
What I want to do now is to add a site. So I'm going to simply click the button, the big orange button that says add site. Signed in, I've signed up. And what I want to do from here is I want to create a site. So I'm just going to choose site. And then I want to choose a theme. It doesn't really matter what the theme is at this point, but I'm just going to choose something pretty like this. I'm going to choose the welcome to our site theme with the city in the background. I grew up in the Bronx. So that is why I'm choosing that. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to choose a subdomain of Weebly. So I'm just going to call this 3pc.weebly.com. That's available. I'm going to continue. And here's what I want to have happen. I want to uh, choose a page or I want to create a specific landing page. So I'm going to go to pages and I want a splash page. Um, click hide page and navigation menu because I don't want to see it. And you'll see that there are a couple of other pages. What you want to do is hide both of those as well. Because you don't want to see any menus up here. Whoops, I'm supposed to be. All right, so now I've, I'm editing my splash page. And I don't want this site uh, title to be up here, so I'm going to hover over it. You'll see that this, this uh, pop-up appears. I'm going to click off. And this is really neat. It's drag and drop, and I want to just drag some elements here. So the only thing that I'm going to need, I'm going to need a couple of things. But the biggest thing that I'm going to need is the embed code. Okay, I'm going to create something there. And pretty much that stuff that I copied before, that's what I'm going to put in here. Okay, so I'm going to edit custom HTML. Gonna paste all of that stuff here. And then I see that I've got my form that pops up. Okay, so let's say that I want to add some information so they know what they're signing up for. So I'm gonna click on title. I'm gonna drag this over here. Okay, and I'll just put learn how to exercise all right and if I want to add some text below that I can do that as well and then I'll just type here receive my free report on how exercise helps you to be healthy. Okay, and I want to center that as well. And let me add a call to action here, actually. So I'm going to type in sign up below. Okay, and if I want to increase the font size I'll do that okay so now I've pretty much got a landing page I've got the text that I need I've got the information that I want and then I've got the sign up area and the person can uh, subscribe and they can get their documents and we'll and we'll show you a little bit later on how to set it up so that they can get the download. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to click publish, use the domain, I'm going to click continue. Okay, and it's publishing my site. And here's the site. All right, so here's the site and simple and it's easy and people can sign up and they can get my download if they want to.